Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to WA Electronics. Today, we're diving into the Zoyi ZT703S 3-in-1 Digital Oscilloscope Multimeter. It's a compact, versatile tool that combines a digital oscilloscope, a multimeter, and even a waveform generator all in one. This could be the ultimate gadget for DIYers, electronics enthusiasts, and hobbyists. So, if you're looking to level up your toolkit, stick around for the unboxing, or review, and a full breakdown of all the features. So let's jump in and see if this device lives up to the hype. All right, let's start with the unboxing. Here's the Zoyi ZT703S package. The box looks pretty standard, nothing too flashy, but it's well sealed and has a bit of a minimalist look to it. Inside, we've got the main device, the Zoyi ZT703S, which feels quite sturdy and has a high quality finish. Along with that, there's the user manual, which includes detailed instructions for setting up and using each mode. Then we have a standard oscilloscope probe, a set of multimeter testing probes, a USB-A to Type-C charging cable, and a carrying pouch handy for portability. Looks like everything is here, so let's get this powered on and explore what it can do. Taking a closer look at the Zoyi ZT703S, it's compact, yet feels like it's built to withstand a bit of wear and tear. It's got a nice screen on it, a 3.5-inch IPS color display, which is bright and has a good viewing angle. It has a 50 MHz bandwidth and a 280 MSA S sampling rate. The buttons feel clicky and responsive, which is always a good sign. On the front, we've got the display, some basic navigation buttons, and a few ports for the probes. Overall, the design is simple, and for a handheld device, it's actually quite intuitive. All right, let's dive into the features. So as the name suggests, this is a three-in-one device. The ZT703S combines an oscilloscope, a digital multimeter, and a waveform generator. Let's start with the oscilloscope mode. We have a bandwidth of 50 megahertz, which is great for a compact scope like this, and a 280 MSA slash S real-time sampling rate. It also has dual channels, so you can capture and view multiple waveforms simultaneously, which is a huge plus for testing more complex circuits. We can see waveforms pretty clearly here, and it's easy to adjust the time base and voltage scale. The response time is quick, which is great for capturing changes in signals. Now, moving on to the multimeter function. As a multimeter, it offers 25000 count accuracy, covering AC-DC voltage up to 1000 volts, current measurements up to 10 amperes, plus resistance, capacitance, and frequency. These are essential for basic diagnostics and electronics work. I'll connect a few components to test it out and see how accurate it is. As you can see, it's performing well with these basic measurements. 
the display updates in real time and gives accurate readings for everyday use. Finally, the ZT700 3S also has a built-in waveform generator. You can output standard signal types, including sine, square, and triangle waves, with adjustable frequency and amplitude. This is a nice addition for anyone who needs to test a circuit's response to specific signals. The user interface is well-designed and easy to navigate. Switching between oscilloscope, multimeter, and waveform generator modes takes just a mode button presses. The 3.5-inch IPS display is definitely a standout. It's bright, responsive, and provides a clear view of all the waveforms and readings. There's also a grid overlay in oscilloscope mode, which is helpful for precise measurements. All right, let's put this tool to the test. I've set up a basic circuit so we can explore each mode in action. Let's hook up the Zoyi ZT700 3S and see how it handles real-time measurements. Oscilloscope mode. In oscilloscope mode, we see the waveform with minimal latency. The 50 MHz bandwidth and 280 MSA/S sampling rate offer crisp waveforms, and adjusting the time base and voltage scale is straightforward. This is great for anyone working with signals that fall within this range, such as audio and low-frequency digital signals. Multimeter mode. Now, in multimeter mode, I can measure voltage, resistance, capacitance, and even frequency with ease. Let's test a few components here. We're getting accurate results quickly, and the 25,000 count resolution adds confidence in the readings. This makes it suitable for both beginners and more experienced users who need reliable readings. Waveform Generator Mode Finally, we have the Waveform Generator Mode. Here, I can output a sine, square, or triangle wave, which is useful for testing how circuits respond to different signals. I can adjust both the frequency and amplitude, giving me a good level of control for testing applications. The oscilloscope shows a clear waveform of each signals, and switching over to the multimeter, we're getting precise voltage and resistance readings. It's definitely a handy tool for debugging smaller circuits. So, now that we've tested it out, let's go over some pros and cons to sum things up. Pros 1. 3 in 1 functionality with oscilloscope, multimeter, and waveform generator modes. Two, clear, bright, 3.5-inch IPS display that's easy to read. Three, 50 megahertz bandwidth and 280 mega samples per second sampling rate for capturing low to mid-range